Um, before I begin, uh, I would like to use the opportunity to tell you that this is one of the best events I've been to because, you know, when somebody tells me he's a programmer, I try to avoid this person. <laughs> Uh, because there's so many programmers and especially PHP programmers and programmers who program CMS and stuff like that. So, you know, you guys change my opinion of what a conference uh, is and uh, it's obviously my first EFC and I really regret I didn't make it to previous EFC. So, you know, you're great, not only for the stuff that you write, but you really... Okay, all right, so um, I'm trying to fit in five minutes, uh, something that is called Pearl at Sofia University, and it's a resume of what we did there with uh, various people. Uh, so what we did was that back in 2004, we started a voluntary class, and it was done with a, uh, by several people who did voluntary work. Uh, what, what, what this means, I mean, how come a university can have voluntary class and want voluntary uh, work there? So the thing is that uh, in Sofia University, there is this kind of um, classes that you can enroll to get extra credits. But the origin of these classes is uh, back in probably about 2000 when some people who wanted to introduce new topics started doing them uh, without getting paid or with a minimum wage. Uh, so uh, what we did was to uh, start uh, lectures for Perl because uh, we, we really loved the language. So the, the first issue got almost 400 attendees, uh, which this sounds ridiculous, but it's true because back in the day there was no lectures, uh, th there was no course about Python and no Ruby, and uh, no PHP, so we were kind of one of the first uh, to, to start doing it, so we, we had this advance. Uh, it was quite challenging, uh, not only for the reason that uh, we were like, I don't know, still students at the university, but uh, we, we were not presenters and if it was me back in 2004, I would be really scared to go in front of that many people, uh, hopefully um, I'm not uh, uh, already. So it was, it was and it still is Pro 5 only for various reasons because it's called Practical Pro Programming and we wanted to uh, show the people that they can do a lot of stuff with Perl uh, and quickly get this done and, uh, and have a lot of fun while doing it. And it's a total of 90 hours per semester currently. I think we started with 45, but uh, uh, I, made, I made some steps to increase this. And it's free admission. Uh, I mean, it's free admission to anyone. And so people from Bulgaria who are here and not only people in the university, you are welcome to come and uh, listen to the lectures or contribute. And I mean, uh, this guy here helped a lot with some of the issues and uh, I when I get to the team uh, who did uh, the lectures, uh, there are some people here in the room, but uh, generally uh, you, can, you can enter the university without paying anything and can come, you can contribute or you can learn something and probably learn something new. So this is the team and this is the first guy and the second guy. Uh, incidentally, the second guy is me. Um, the first guy is at HP. He's not uh, doing development work, but uh, still his favorite language is Pro. Uh, my, my favorite language and the language that I would go and uh, develop stuff is still Pro for 15 years now. But you don't know me because I'm very shy and for uh, other reasons. And uh, the third guy, Peter Penchev, he's well known. Uh, he's here and he helped a lot. And uh, this guy, uh, he, he moved to uh, Python. He's doing a lot of Python development but he helped also. So again, this is a non-profit initiative. We've been doing this for years. So uh, some history in 2003 and 4 and 5, uh, it was in the Sofia University, yeah, a typo there, but I just did it really quickly, no offense. 2006 and 2007, I tried to give the lectures in New Bulgarian University in, entirely in English, but uh, there were only a few people coming, like four or five people, so it was, it was not really successful. And again, this is happening in Sofia University. This is the picture from 2004, and why we did it? Well, because we loved Pearl, and we still do. I'm also teaching these classes, which makes me really positive that I can keep doing this. And some of them are really weird, some of them are standard. What, well, the feedback is that the people love it, the people love the language, and their projects are quite fascinating. And uh, this is again a picture from 2004. I don't have recent pictures. These are some statistics, and then the recent uh, issues have fewer people because I want it so. 
I want to work with less people because it's more effective and because there's like a bunch of other courses. And you know, people still coming even though the world knows I lack interpersonal communication skills and this is what an HR told me. So you know, this still goes. This is an example slide about regular expressions. We try to make it uh, uh, understandable. This is an example from the reference le uh, lecture. And I'm trying to innovate it. For example, I'm starting a team viewer, getting people to write code on my PC. I uh, also include new stuff like Mu, iOS seeing, DBIC, and stuff like this. So uh, I was going to show you some more stuff. These are example projects. And there are some challenges that people are afraid to use the debugger. And this is really challenging. I started using the bower the 10th year. And they also are afraid from the context, but eventually they learn. And uh, there is a lot of syntax, and which is surprising. A lot of people find it hard to work with CPAN on Windows. And you know, Windows is really big in Bulgaria. Uh, no offense to Mac users, but this is what the operating system here is really popular. Packing and packing and indexing. So where is it going? So I probably have to split it in two parts, because the first part should be syntax, and the second semester should be modules and I need help uh, of course because currently it's only me the other people moved to the other project and uh, will probably probably eventually move to Perl 6 at some point but I have to master it first so this picture is this picture is from the first year 2 a.m. in the morning because you know having 300 students also means that you have to make an exam and you have to test them. So this is why I'm having less students. But you know, you can help. Contact me. Uh, any suggestions are welcome. Thank you. Thank you.